today. We're talking to Dr. Cupid Poe, and the uh, topic is the Christian experience and uh, self-esteem. And of course, Dr. Poe, let's uh, continue our conversation uh, earlier in reference to uh, some of the overt. I think you were mentioned that you mentioned overt uh, self-esteem and et cetera. Uh, right. Let's do that. Well, uh, I think it was at Duke University Medical Center. They did some research a few years ago, and uh, they found out that there was a difference between uh, uh, genuine uh, faith uh, and faith that was uh, external but wasn't really genuine. If a person's faith affects their choices, their decision making, their day to day life, they found that these people had less depression, less chronic physical illnesses, uh, they reported being happier, uh, they, uh, they had higher, they had a healthier self esteem. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, people who attended church uh, as part of a tradition or just mm -hmm. kind of for, for social reasons, these people didn't have the, the health benefits mm -hmm. that the people whose spirituality was genuine. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is a difference between what I say uh, about mm -hmm. my faith in God, okay, uh, and whether or not my faith in God really impacts mm -hmm. the decisions that I make. Uh, so people need to know that uh, the choices we make in terms of uh, whether those choices are designed to please God, mm -hmm. whether those choices represent our efforts to do unto others mm -hmm. as we would have them do unto us, or whether our choices represent or an expression of our effort to do unto others as God would have us do unto them, okay? Those choices uh, impact how we feel about ourselves mm -hmm. each and every day. As a matter of fact, the best thing that I can do is, is help another person mm -hmm. because that's really what serving God is about. Mm -hmm. Serving God is essentially helping other people, uh, not out of a motive of getting something in return, mm -hmm. okay, but, but helping other people uh, primarily as a way of pleasing God mm -hmm. because God commands us to do so. so mm -hmm. And that's what love is about, really. Mm -hmm. Love is really about me helping somebody else mm -hmm. and allowing somebody else to help me. Mm -hmm. And so when we practice doing that from day to day, the Holy Spirit in us blesses us to feel good about ourselves. And once you feel good about yourself, it's not permanent, mm -hmm. okay? okay? In order to keep that feeling, uh, in order to keep feeling good about yourself, mm -hmm. one has to continue to give oneself to serving God through helping other people. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why we're here, really, is to serve God through helping other people. Mm -hmm. We're not here to make a lot of money, nothing wrong with making mm -hmm. a lot of money. We're not here to be famous, nothing wrong with being famous. Mm -hmm. We're not here to drive an expensive car, wear impressive clothes, mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. We're not here to acquire a whole lot of formal education, mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But the important thing is to realize what our purpose for being here is. It is mm -hmm. simply to serve God through helping other people. Mm -hmm. It begins at home. Mm -hmm. And that's such a simple message though, uh, Dr. Poe. I mean, it, 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 it seems that it's so easy to say, but it's hard to get across to folks. That, 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 and, and I would imagine that it might be a problem that people don't give it an opportunity. You have to, they have, to have some kind of something called faith that uh, it will work out for you. You see, and if you don't have that faith, then I guess it would be easy to uh, fall into depression. But I think as you indicated earlier, that uh, it's such a uh, a, a general problem in our society today. As a matter of fact, let's, uh, 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 you know, we had a, 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 an interview with uh, uh, some of the members from the uh, Galaxy Drug Prevention Program, mm -hmm. and they were saying the problems that many of the young people had uh, in our society, uh, that they have to deal with, is that uh, they've simply been turned off. Uh, they don't believe in uh, anything, and, and, and that nobody really is out there trying to help them, you know. Uh, I think that they, are, they almost closed this uh, organization down, the Gal Galaxy Drug Prevention Program, they almost closed it down. And so now they contend that uh, the young people who are out there are just uh, aimlessly wandering around, uh, aimlessly uh, committing crime, and et cetera, et cetera. And so I think that that kind of information that, that you are bringing uh, would be effective in those kinds of situations. But still, we have fewer of uh, those kinds of situations now since they're closing down many of these uh, drug prevention programs for whatever violation many of the uh, people who are involved in might uh, have made they simply close that down and all of the folks that have been helped or assisted by it they are then back on the streets and that's and that from what i understand that is the way it is on the streets around nashville and other places mm -hmm. throughout this nation today mm -hmm. 
Well, you know, I think uh, what you're saying is, is very, very true. Uh, what I encounter is a lot of, uh, a lot of hostility, a lot of, dep lot of hostility going on in, mm -hmm. in uh, families uh, today. Mm -hmm. uh, the children are being neglected. Uh, children are often being abused. They are being mentally abused. Uh, you got parents uh, cursing children, uh, mm -hmm. cursing around children. Uh, parents are so focused on themselves uh, that they don't really have time to give proper attention and guidance to the children. And I think that uh, our school system needs to open itself up mm -hmm. to positive spirituality, mm -hmm. to allowing uh, persons who can, who can really encourage a student spiritually. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that would help to, uh, to inculcate uh, spiritual values. Mm -hmm. And I think that that would help a whole lot in reducing some of the violence in mm -hmm. our schools as well as in our community. Because as you said, mm -hmm. uh, not much guidance is going on. Positive guidance mm -hmm. is going on in the home. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we need to find a way to, to get spiritual input uh, to the young people. Mm -hmm. And maybe if the school system could open up its doors or we can find some other way to do it, mm -hmm. uh, then certainly we ought to do it. It's, 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 it's uh, the kind of lifestyle, I think you've mentioned uh, the uh, uh, spiritual lifestyle in a real sense is kind of lifestyle that could really help to uh, deal with some of the problems, some of the challenges that we have. And especially depression, I think you've mentioned that has been a, a major uh, issue today among all classes of individuals. And I think that uh, that would uh, do something to help alleviate uh, the uh, low self-esteem and depression that many folks uh, find themselves in. Yes, and, and uh, very, very true. Uh, so many lifestyles today are, are self-pleasing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And a self-pleasing lifestyle is just fraught with many, many problems. It's going to cause uh, depression. It's going to cause unnecessary anxiety. It causes health issues, uh, mental as well as physical health issues. It causes relationship problems, okay? But I think that's where many uh, people are today. Uh, they're on a track of self-pleasing themselves. Uh, uh, and so the, the peace in life, the joy in life, the fulfillment in life, the true excitement in, in life, the true fulfillment, the true freedom mm -hmm. is a byproduct of living a God-pleasing lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's true in this country. It's true in uh, Russia. It's true Where, in Africa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wherever. Because it is a God-pleasing lifestyle. It's, it's universal. Ab it? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, God is one, and mm -hmm. he's present in every mm -hmm. culture, uh, present in every person, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And so he put us here to seek him. Uh, to receive him, to serve him through helping others, mm -hmm. and as a result of helping others, or serving him through helping others, we're able to enjoy him. Mm -hmm. We're able to enjoy God and enjoy the blessings mm -hmm. he's bestowed upon us. Mm -hmm. Well, now, Dr. Poe, over the last couple of minutes, do you think that there's any kind of uh, institutional kind of thing that we could do to uh, bring more spirituality into, uh, see, spirituality might be, seem to be the responsibility of the church. But I think you've indicated that perhaps it might be the responsibility of the school. Is there anything that we could do to uh, make uh, other segments of society aware of, of the importance of the spirit? Well, I mean, the research is out there that there's a relationship between positive spirituality, between uh, religious involvement in health, both mental and physical health. The research is out there. Um, and so I think uh, perhaps what we need to do is to go to the city fathers mm -hmm. and uh, present this research to them and or to the Board of Education uh, and maybe they would open up uh, the doors of the school mm -hmm. for instruction and in positive spirituality to come in mm -hmm. and that would I think uh, uh, have a significant positive impact on attitudes and behaviors mm -hmm. of our young people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that wouldn't be considered teaching religion. In, in no, that, positive that's, spirituality. I think, uh, yeah, that's what I think that uh, most folks would, would uh, uh, that, that's the objection I think that most folks have in reference to any kind of spirituality, anything in school. And so you think that that could be a possibility? I think it's a possibility. It would not be Christian. It would not be uh, mm -hmm. Islamic. It would not be uh, Jewish. It would not be Hindu. It would, be it would simply be uh, spir spirituality. Every recognizing that every person, as you, I think, indicated, has the spirit within him or yes. her. And so uh, uh, to stroke that spirit, to encourage it, uh, certainly should be the responsibility of uh, the educational institutions as well as the church. Yes, and mm -hmm. we found, based on the scientific research, that spirituality impacts behavior, mm -hmm. and behavior is a major problem in our public it schools. Certainly is.
So if we want to help our young people get a better handle on their behavior and shift from negative to positive behavior, we need to include spirituality. Very good. And of course, Dr. Paul, let me thank you for that excellent information, uh, as always. And of course, let me encourage our audience to uh, tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you. and. Thank you.